Hello bookish friends on the internet. Welcome welcome back to my channel. My name is Drew and this is Drew's Ambitious Reading. How are y'all doing? I hope you enjoyed my vlogs I've been making lately. I just have two new vlogs up on my channel so I'll leave those up above or down below for you to go watch. Also before we start this video please ignore this cut. I was shaving yesterday and I cut myself and it's still not healed yet. So ignore the cut. <laughs> uh, anyways, today's video is very exciting announcement slash another TBR for a readathon. I am going to be at participating in readathon that is hosted by Amanda at Amanda the Bibliophile, I believe, and Donna over at Mom's Book Collection. They both have a YouTube channel. I believe Amanda has a YouTube channel, but both of them have a YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. So I'll leave all their social medias down below in the description box to so go look down there for all their social media handles and all their information. Even Readathon itself has an Instagram and Twitter account. So go down there and check out the description box. I'll also leave all the challenges down below and a little bit of information of what Readathon is about. So I have my phone here. Um, so let's just jump into this because this is going to be a long video. Uh, so Readathon is happening again. They are back for the this year, this year round of November. Wow, words are hard. Uh, they are happening throughout the whole month of November. So you have the whole month to read as many books as possible. Um, and I'm just going to kind of read this whole page. It says, uh, Readathon is a readathon that Manda and uh, Donna created a few years back in 2017, which is crazy that we've been doing it for so long. And it's a month long readathon that is held in February, May, August, and November every single year. The goal for Readathon is to thin out your TBR shelves or carts or Goodreads list or whatever lists, audiobooks lists, ebook lists, net galley lists. I know I have a bunch of arcs I would like to get to. Um, and then um, anything that just is a TBR, we can thin out. So they have a group buddy read that they do every, well, actually they just incorporated the group buddy read uh, this past year, I believe, but their group buddy read, let me grab it. Cause I already read it, but I wanted to show you the book in case you guys have it. Our group buddy read for this round is going to be Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. Uh, this is the newest book by this author. It's set in the, forest with a bunch of animals and creatures and whatnot. I really enjoyed it. I read it last year around November, so it's perfect that they're doing it this time around. Uh, I think I gave it like four or five stars. It was really cute, fun fantasy read. Um, it is a standalone novel, so you don't have to wait for like a sequel or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for this one, and I'm hoping that Everyone in the group chat would love this one, and I'm also in that group chat, so I definitely can't wait to read and discuss. I might reread this one, so this is technically like the first book on my TBR, but this is their buddy read for this round. And then let's go over the challenges. There's a lot, so bear with me here. Uh, so challenge one is TBR Repeater. Remember those books you didn't finish last month or maybe month before that? Here is your chance to bring them back. So for that one, I'll show you the book that I picked for that prompt uh, when we get to the TBR section. Uh, next prompt, prompt number two, is read and watch or read an adaptation, movie, TV, webcomic, graphic novel, etc. Um, and this is a read a book that was or will be adapted into something. That one was a bit challenged for me, but I managed to figure it out. Uh, prompt number three is mood read. Choose something you're in the mood to read. Right now, my fantasy kick is still here, so I'm definitely going to pick some sort of fantasy book. Uh, a book you meant to read in 2021. Simply look at all the books that you have read last year or that you wanted to read last year and pick one of those to read. Uh, new to you author, read from an author you never read from before, which I love that prompt. Uh, book in a series, read a book that is in a series. It could be the first book, it can be the second book, the third book, fourth, etc., etc. Um, 
I know I have a bunch of series that I would love to like complete and I know there's a few finales on my list here so I'm excited to get to those. A uh, book less than 300 pages, easy peasy, read anything under 300 pages. Uh, next prompt is favorite genre. What is your favorite genre? Read from the book that is from that said genre. That's a hard word for me to say. Uh, next prompt is five plus words in the title. Read uh, any another easy one. Just find a book that has five or more words in the title. That one was kind of hard for me to do, but I believe I found one for it. Uh, another prompt is LGBTQ plus book so anything with lgbtqia representation uh they the hosts of the read a thin love to support the commu lgbt community and so do i obviously uh i have a whole book club dedicated to queer uh books so i'm very happy to say i found a queer book in this stack um very excited for that read as well <laughs> Uh, a book from a subscription box or a recently purchased book. Uh, do you get a subscription box? Have you bought any or received any new books? Pick one and read it. Um, that one, I believe I did my most recent purchase, which is actually in my book haul stack. So I need to grab it from that stack. Luckily, it's right here next to me. And then a final challenge that we have for the reading prompts are a book with a prologue or an epilogue. Simply find a book that has a prologue or an epilogue in it. Which that was hard because I was trying not to spoil myself from the ending of the book. But the book I picked does have a prologue and an epilogue. So very excited for that. Um, but yeah, those are the reading prompts. Uh, and then there's self-care prompts, which I'll leave the self-care down below. I'm not really going to read all of these because there's a lot more self-care than reading prompts. Not that I don't care for them. It just personally, I don't have time to put them in this video. But I'll leave this link to Amanda or yeah Donna's announcement down below. So I'll also leave her an announcement video up above or down below too because they did just do an announcement video. So yeah, very excited for that. Um, and I'm actually gonna move some stuff around real quick before we get into it. I should have done this off camera, but Ooh. hold on a sec. I'm sorry. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay, I needed these two books that I was going to show you. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to jump into my TBR for this readathon. Uh, so, prompt wrong. Wow, prompt one is TBR repeater. And I already explained what that one is about. So, I'm so disorganized and I hate it. <laughs> um,. So a book that's been on my TBR forever, ever since I got it, um, has been <laughs> Kingdom of the Curse by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the second installment of the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. I know I have book three on my shelf and I'm really excited to get to it soon. Uh, I'm supposed to be buddy reading book two and three with my friend Lori. We meant to read this for her readathon, but both of us never got around to reading it, which is kind of bum because this was a book club pick for me last year for my book club. Um, but I'm hoping to get to it this time around, and I know I'm definitely going to buddy read this with my friend Lori uh, over at the Chatty Bookworm here on Booktube, so I'll leave her channel down below as well. But I'm very excited to get to this and hopefully wrap up another series this month. Um, so next prompt is to read or watch a adaptation. And for me, I picked Shiri the Vanished book two by Nick Stone. This is a short, easy middle grade novel that's based off of the Black Panther movie. Um, I know Black Panther two is finally coming out this year. I've been anticipating that sequel. So not only is this a sequel in its series, but I also will be watching uh, Black Panther two whenever it comes out, either in theater or just on Disney Plus, whichever one it comes out on first. Um, so yeah, I definitely was very happy Happy. And I still have my Barnes & Noble receipt in here from when I bought it at Barnes & Noble the day it came out. So we love that. 
Uh, next is mood read. Read anything you want. Um, I'll probably read Spells for Forgetting by Aging Young for this. This is an arc that I had, or an e-arc I had for a while, and I just never got around to reading it. But something about, like, the spooky season being here, I just really want to get to this. Um, it just sounds perfect for the fall season, and it's one of my most anticipated reads, so I can't wait to get to this. And, yeah, this is what I have for mood reading. Uh, a book you meant to read in 2021. Uh, I meant to read this last year, and I just never got around to this. This could also work for a TBR repeat, and that is Defy the Night by Bridget Kemmerer. This is on my October TBR for October right now, but again, I just never got around to reading this yet. Um, I'm kind of waiting on my friend Taylor to finish Still With Me, which I finished last night and absolutely loved it. And then once my friend Taylor finishes Still With Me, we're going to read Defy the Night. And I'm hoping that we will love this one because um, I loved everything else by Bridget Kemmerer so far. So I'm excited to see what I would think of this new series by her. Sorry, my phone keeps closing. <laughs> a uh, New to you author. Hmm. I think new to me author is gonna be Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan. Again, this is her debut novel, so I've never read anything by this author before. This book is still, to this day, very hyped up. And I am excited and nervous to get to this. And I'm also happy to say that I'm getting to this in November because the sequel for this, which is such a stunning cover, the sequel to this is coming out in November as well. So, and I'm already on hold for it through my public library. So I definitely want to read this obviously first and then jump into the sequel if I have time. Uh, book, in a, book in a series I picked the King Will Kill You by Sarah Henning. This is the third and final book in the Princess Will Save You trilogy. I'm not too sure what the name of this trilogy is. Uh, the first book is Princess Will Save You. The second one is The Queen Will Betray You. The second one is definitely my favorite so far. So I'm excited to see if this one will be a favorite. And I had this on my shelf since it came out and I just haven't got around to it. And if I do get around to it this month, like I said earlier, I would be completing a trilogy. A uh, book that is less than 300 pages, I picked Shuri Book 3, Symbolus, I believe is how you say that word. I could be wrong. Uh, this is the third installment of this book, and this book literally has 265 pages, so this definitely counts. And then again, if I do get to this one in the month of November, I will be wrapping up another series. As you can tell, I'm in like a high fantasy, low fantasy type of mood and also just need to wrap up a bunch of series that I have for 2022. So this is one of them. Uh, favorite genre? My favorite genre, as you can tell, is fantasy or middle grade. So I picked The Gilded Cage by Letty Noni. Uh, this is the sequel to the Prison Healer, which I read last year in December and absolutely loved it. Don't know why I haven't continued on with the trilogy yet, but I do own book three on my TBR cart. So I put this in for favorite genre and I'm just excited to get to this and I want to wrap up the series as well this month. Uh, an LGBT book. This one is going to be perfect because this is my Queer Reads book club pick for the month of November. And that is The First to Die at the End by Adam Severa. This is Adam Severa's newest book and it's a prequel to They Both Die at the End, which I read and really enjoyed. Uh, I think I gave it like 3.5 out of 5 stars when I first read it. So I'm curious to see how this one is and why this one is so much thicker than They Both Die at the End. Uh, but again, this is my Queer Reads book club pick for the month of November. So if you would like to join us, please message me down below or just message me through my social media. All of that will be linked down below. Or you can message Charlie as well. She's my co-host of the book club. So you can message her down below as well. I'll leave Charlie's Instagram down below. Anyways, this is our Queer Reads book club, LGBT book and author. And we are ecstatic for this one. And it's my most anticipated read as well. <laughs> Uh, next is book from a subscription box or recently purchased. Um, 
So for that one, I have two from subscription box that I could read. So I have Call Down the Hawk that I can read because this was supposed to be on my October TBR and I never got to this. Uh, I own all three books of this trilogy now, so I can binge read another series in November. Um, honestly, I think the month of November is just going to be wrapping up series, so this will be a perfect opportunity. I got this in a, I think it was a exclusive book box from Alec Crate, or it was just in their monthly box. I can't remember if this was an exclusive book or if this was a, um, like in the monthly box uh if you remember please let me know down below and then a book that is most recently purchased i would say it starts with us by colleen hoover this will be my second colleen hoover book i read it starts with, it ends with us um last year actually around this time so i would just love it to have this one be picked for recently bought technically my most recent purchase is i was born for this by alice oseman i'm too lazy to grab the book because it's literally right there in front of me but this is technically like my most recent purchase so i'm excited for both of these and they're both blue books so we love that <laughs> um and then the final prompt is a book with a prologue and epilogue i found out that only a monster by vanessa yeah, Vanessa Lynn has a prologue and an epilogue, um, and the cover for this sequel just got revealed. It's so stunning. I'm going to see if I can try and pull this up real quick. Maybe not, because I don't know where I put it at. <laughs> uh, the cover just got revealed recently, and it is quite stunning, and it matches with book one, which I'm so happy that it matches. There we go. So the second book is called Never a Hero. This is book two cover and this is book one. I also got this stunning edition from Owl Crate. So thank you again, Owl Crate. And I'm hoping to read a bunch of my Owl Crate books next month as well. Um, I just have a lot of goals that I'm trying to complete. So yeah, this will count for a book with a prologue and an epilogue. I don't remember much about this one. I just know it's a first book in a new fantasy series and everyone has been uh, raving about it lately. So I'm just eager to see oh yeah it says only a monster is about a monster girl whose summer is ruined when the cute guy at works turns out to be a monster slayer this book was written with so much love and heart when i was growing up i always wished that i could read about characters who looked like me having amazing adventures in magical worlds and then one day i realized that i could write that book and now it is such a dream come true to share it with you in this beautiful owl crate edition i hope you have as much fun reading it as i had writing it with loves and best wishes vanessa so again this is from owl crate so i'll leave my uh unboxing of it up above or down below but yeah this is the final book on my tbr as you can see is a very fantasy heavy and i'm nervous for that because my fantasy kick is here but i'm also nervous that i will get in a reading slump in the last like month of 2022 so november and december are just me basically wrapping up my goals wrapping up series that i have that as you can see i have a lot of series to binge read this month which i'm very excited and a lot of buddy reads i'm doing as well um but yeah overall i'm really excited for this readathon thank you again donna and manda for hosting I'll leave all the social medias down below and yeah, just check the description box out whenever you can. Uh, and I'll chat with the guys whenever I have a new video for you. Bye.